Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on setting up the Sumo Logic AWS Observability Solution. AWS Observability is an all-in-one approach that gives you visibility for the most important elements of your cloud infrastructure and helps in troubleshooting complex issues. In this tutorial, you'll learn how easy it is to deploy the AWS Observability Solution using a CloudFormation template via a new and quick method. With this method, you can deploy the solution easily into a single AWS account and region. The CloudFormation template that is used to deploy the solution sets up an automated collection of logs and metrics from AWS to the Sumo Logic service, and also installs out-of-the-box dashboards in Sumo Logic. In addition, the AWS Observability solution comes with prepackaged alerts in the form of Sumo Logic monitors. A couple things to note before you begin to deploy. Make sure that as a Sumo Logic user, your Sumo role has the required role capabilities. Also, to deploy the solution, you'll need to log into the AWS console. For the CloudFormation template deployment option, your AWS role must have all of the required permissions as described in the configuration JSON file that's linked in the description of this video. The AWS observability solution can be deployed using alternate methods such as Terraform, but we recommend to use the CloudFormation template at the beginning. If you are ready with the prerequisite details, we can now proceed to deploy the solution. To deploy the AWS Observability Solution, in the left navigation pane of the Sumo Logic UI, click App Catalog. Use the Search feature to search for the AWS Observability app. You'll find the AWS Observability app listed under Classic Apps. Then click Install App. To deploy the solution, first select the AWS Deployment Region. Note that you need to deploy the AWS Observability Solution in the same region as your infrastructure that you want to monitor. For this demo, we'll select the region US East 1. Your AWS role must have the permissions described in the Before You Deploy section of the official Sumo documentation. You can review this section using the documentation link posted in the description of this video. If you're not sure if you have the right privileges, click Check AWS Role Permission to confirm. This check will invoke a test cloud formation template, which will verify if your AWS role has enough permissions to deploy AWS Observability. Once the above is finished, click Deploy AWS Observability to deploy the solution. Note that the access key and ID are automatically set. The collector button will turn green once the collection from the AWS account is configured successfully. When clicked, this process will invoke the CloudFormation template and create the necessary parameters. Note that the AWS deployment region is reflected in the CloudFormation template. Also, a valid stack name is generated by default, in this case, AWS Observability. However, you can customize this name as per your requirements. All the required parameters are configured with the appropriate values in the template by default. For instance, the Sumo Logic deployment name, access ID, and key are set by default in the access configuration parameters. Also, it fetches the Sumo Logic organization ID on its own and sets the delete resources field to true. Next, you can provide alias value for the AWS account identification. Ensure that this name doesn't include any special characters. For this demo, we'll skip this field. You can also skip the S3 object URL for the CSV file, as this is required only if you are deploying the solution in multiple AWS accounts. The Install AWS Observability Apps and Alerts is automatically set to Yes. Similarly, all the fields for parameters AWS CloudWatch Metric Sources, AWS ALB Log Source, AWS CloudTrail Source, AWS Lambda CloudWatch Log Source, Root Cause Explorer Sources, and AWS ELB Classic Log Source are set by default. It's recommended to retain the default values. However, you can scroll through each of the parameters and customize the values in the fields as needed. For demo purposes, we'll proceed with the default values set by the deploying method. Next, for the parameter App Installation and Sharing, the location is set to the Personal folder by default. You may select to install the app in the Admin Recommended folder. If so, content will be visible under the Admin Recommended folder to all the users in your organization, with view-only access. This option is used to highlight important content for other users, and is the recommended option for admins. 
You can also select whether you want to share the app with the whole organization. In the Permissions section, choose the IAM role for CloudFormation to use for all operations performed on the stack. Finally, in the Capabilities section, select these two checkboxes to acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources with customized names. Also, that AWS CloudFormation might require the Capability Auto Expand capability. When finished, click Create Stack. The template begins to create the stack AWS Observability. The process will typically take around 8 to 10 minutes. You can keep refreshing the screen every few minutes to view the progress. You can view progress either with the main stack view or nested stacks. Once the stack is created, you can check it in Sumo Logic. In the top menu bar of the Sumo Logic UI, click New, then select Explore. In the Explore tab, in the left top of the screen, select Explore by AWS Observability. Several AWS account names or IDs will be displayed in the left pane. Select your AWS account by name or ID. The AWS account overview dashboard will be displayed in the right window. Note the region where the solution was deployed in your AWS account will be listed below. You can select the region, in our case, US East 1. You can now see the corresponding dashboards for this region being displayed in the right window. We hope you found this tutorial helpful for deploying the Sumologic AWS Observability Solution quickly and easily. Thanks for watching.